America spends more money on education than most other countries. Class sizes are smaller overall in America than they've been for a very long time. And there have been hundreds of initiatives to reform education and improve test results. They haven't made any difference at all. The dropout rate continues. There's a catastrophically high turnover among teachers. And many of the kids who are in school don't want to be there. One thing that should alarm us as parents, as citizens, is we have a system that is built to prepare kids for my past rather than for my kids' future. The knowledge that young people will need is changing so rapidly that they have to be able to learn to learn. There's a real disconnect between the people who are making the policy and the people who are, say, doing the science. How do you take these principles that we know about human learning and transform that into practices that can be used in a real classroom? I think math is the subject with the biggest gap between what we know works from research and what happens in most classrooms. We know how to teach math well, but it's not happening in most schools. People are really resistant to change. Ironically, the United States is a country that has strong equity ideals, but has always had a strongly inequitable education system. We mispredict who can and who can't do what based on socioeconomic status. We mispredict based on race. We mispredict based on gender. We found another way to mispredict, which is based on standardized test scores. America has this view of competitiveness. You know, we are always driven by other countries because we are afraid of being left behind. We picked the wrong indicators. We all know that children are inherently curious, creative beings. Something about our schooling takes that away from people. Education is a human process. It's about people. We have examples of schools that have redesigned themselves. It's really important to have that conversation in a way that includes the parents, the faculty, the community members. This is all new for us. We're going to have some chaos. And chaos is okay as long as it's what we call organized chaos. Hands-on and fun and being up out of the seat makes the learning environment so much better. Especially when we saw my oldest son, Sean, we are like, we don't want to put him behind a desk, so we wanted to have a more integrated learning environment. We want kids problem solving. We want to give them interesting, engaging problems. We want them believing in their capability. The whole world would change. If I were to gone to another school, I probably would have been that normal teenager that's glum. So I definitely feel like a better person here. The most important mistake that's made in all of education is underestimating what students are capable of doing. I was really struggling in school. The model of the independent project has gotten everybody to do more than they would be doing and to care more about it. So you're seeing this epiphanous moment. <laughs> This is what happens all day. Is the work that students are doing, is it being honored? If that's happening, it's hard for the student not to be engaged. We really jumped into this to influence the education paradigm of the entire country. And if we can demonstrate that that can happen here, then that could change everything everywhere. The stakes couldn't be higher. All of us collectively are facing challenges that we've never faced before. An education system that fails to tap in to the genius that's resident in all of our children and the creative ambitions of our teachers will simply fail to meet the challenges they and we all collectively face. We want our schools back.